If you've clicked on this video today, you probably have been taking a lot of time to find your place in the market. We can call this your edge. What you will trade, what's the best style for you, and then executing that edge in the market. But it turns out that finding your edge isn't that hard. It's not that complicated if you take the right steps and if you learn about the trading styles first and you pick the right one, of course. What's up traders, welcome back to another video that I'm doing today about different styles of trading and I'm partnering with Pepperson for this one. This video is sponsored by them once again. I appreciate their help to be able to deliver more content for you guys and to be able to kind of produce better videos. I appreciate that a lot. It means a lot to me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this series so far. By the way, I'll put a link below for this series I've been doing on Pepperstone about how to trade profitably in 2020. This year, you're gonna make it happen. You better do it. For now, I wanna talk about trading styles and how to find new edge in the market. You know, there are a lot of trading styles. We can talk about scalping, day trading, trading swing, trading reversals, trading trends. And that can mean a lot of confusion for people. So when we talk about the different styles, I'll just kind of pull this up quickly, but you guys probably know this before, what the, what the different trading styles are. We talk about, as I said, scalping. We go from basically the time frame that you trade, from the highest to the lowest. The highest would be like position trading, really high time frame. We won't cover that today. But then below that, would be you trade swing. So swing trading for me is like medium time frame. You might trade a one hour chart, maybe a 30 minute chart at the lowest, and you can go all the way to like a daily chart. Okay, that's what I call for myself swing trading. That's what I do the most. And then below that is day trading, which would mean that you trade on like a 15 minute chart, a five minute chart, you're more intraday, and you will probably close the trade by the end of the day, okay? And then lower than that, a little bit lower, more, is like scalping, one minute chart, two minute chart, three minute chart, those are the very low time frame, which means you're always in and out quickly. Your trades will last a few seconds, a few minutes, and that's it, pretty much. So you will also close your trade by the end of the day, of course. Now I'm giving you this overview of, of trading kind of styles only because some people might not know them. Some people might think differently. Like people have all these different definitions of different styles and I want to make sure you understand the same thing that I understand so we can get clear on that and get to more in that topic after that. Okay, the second thing we need to think about is what will you trade in the market? Do you trade reversals? When market is in the range, you look for extreme points, trade reversals at this point. You could trade breakouts too at these levels or you could trade what we call trends. So trends are when the market moves in a direction and you enter within that direction, either on a pullback or with some other methods. You can enter at the high, although that's more like a breakout. But let's just think about trading the trend the direction in the market as opposed to a reversal of a point or as opposed to a breakout of a range. Okay, those will be the different styles. Now, this is very basic and I know you're not coming here for that at all. Okay, that's very basic knowledge. I hope you understand these terms. And now we can go into more details. So I had a chat with Thomas, who's working at FX Evo. They are doing some programs with Pepperstone to be able to teach traders how to trade. And I saw them with him to talk about different trading style, kind of ask what are the advantages, disadvantages, and a little bit about how to master each style so you know what to expect and you can dive into the one you want and then get results later on with that style. Well, firstly, thanks for having me on, Etienne. Yeah, so look, my background, it actually began a long time ago. During, um, I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with uh, some of the Australian schools, but in Australian schools, we get the ASX uh, actually allows us to uh, play a thing called the trading game. And it kind of, my journey really started there. It was uh, interesting because what we were allowed to do is we had to buy 10 stocks and we had to kind of pick uh, what we thought would be the best and then it would trade it for three months. And at the end of that, uh, we were kind of given a total. And of course, the, the winner uh, would be uh, the person who made the most amount of money. Now, what was interesting about all of that is that I didn't actually win the competition, um, which a lot of people obviously would think I may have. But uh, what I did learn was I went and picked things that were very volatile and would move a lot per day, uh, whereas the people that were winning were the ones that were picking more of the blue chip stocks or the more common household name stocks. And they just consistently grew over those three months, whereas everyone that picked the, the other kind of trades, um, they didn't do so well. So my, my journey really started there. And then I came back into trading just around the GFC and I really started trading Forex. Uh, specifically the Australian US dollar and Euro US dollar. And I was kind of making decisions on the interest rates because back then they were cutting interest rates regularly uh, to try to, of course, fix the problems in the economy. So my trading journey started at school, but I really picked it back up during the GFC. So I first asked Thomas to give me his version of swing trading. 
Yeah, so I look, I think swing trading is actually one of my favorite types of trades. And I think it's a lot of, you know, the students that we teach, it becomes one of their favorite types of trades. Some of the advantages of swing trading are that it really allows you to have a really great lifestyle. So one of the things that I've made a decision on very quickly after doing that GFC type trading and doing the 16, 18, 20 hours a day trading in front of the charts was that I wanted to have a lifestyle outside. And I think I've watched a few of your videos and I've seen a lot of the people that you interview also uh, talk about those ideas and talk about how they've come from scalping and potentially gone into swing trading. So if you're somebody that maybe is working part-time or full-time and doesn't necessarily have or has a family and doesn't have the time to get in front of the charts every day and do the two, three, four hours, uh, if you've got 15 minutes or an hour, that's a huge advantage in swing trading. You can make decisions set alerts, I always love setting a mobile alert um, for, for key levels that I'm looking at. And then of course, trade the swings and have like a nice stop loss uh, that's, that's comfortable to kind of, you know, go through the general news uh, day. And, and usually the great thing is you're in it for a few days. Um, so you might be in it for potentially one, maybe even a couple of weeks, but not, not a super long period of time with swing trading. So I think that's a huge advantage. Uh, another advantage of swing trading would have to be that uh, when, when you're considering, again, your trading style, uh, it, it really works well with not being stressed. So one of the things that I think a lot of traders have a problem with when they maybe look at the shorter timeframes is they'll be constantly looking at the screens and they'll be distracted. So you always hear people say, I'm stuck inside of this trade and during the day I'm checking my mobile phone and I'm not able to concentrate properly. Now that may be risk management, but it also is because they know that within half an hour or even two minutes or one minute, their trade can completely change. So swing trading gives you the flexibility of setting alerts, setting take profits, stop losses, and having a, you know, really good uh, boundaries so that you can go on with your lifestyle. The biggest disadvantage probably for swing trading has to be that you are in the trade for a longer period of time. And again, uh, for some people that have started in Forex, often we do start scalping or day trading to begin with. It can be difficult to hold trades overnight or hold trades over the weekend, and that can be a risk. So I think that's a big uh, risk in, in swing trading and it's something that people often underestimate. How is their psychology going to deal with holding the position for a longer period of time. Swing trading is probably best suited for um, actually the full-time trader that wants to kind of make a bit of a living out of trading, uh, that wants to make as much money as they can, but also have that reduced kind of stress. And I think it's great for people that are getting into trading. I think it's really just like kind of the, the best trade method for a lot of people. Um, and if you're a part-time or full-time worker, being able to put in 15 minutes to one hour a day in front of the charts is, is super advantage. So I'd say it's great for part-time, full-time and um, workers and also full-time traders. Really, really good method. So because you're trading swings, you're often trading in the, the trend. And I really like the fact that if you get good at swing trading, trading role reversals, trading support resistance breaks, those, uh, those kind of things, then you can take advantage of, of these types of situations where the market will come back down to a point and it will hit the maybe the 20 or the 50 moving averages. That will also be around the same point as a break of a previous resistance, which is a roll reversal level. And then of course you might also have a Fibonacci level like a 38.2 or a 50 there. So um, I've got this on the screen, but I think it's really great to see that you can bring so many different systems together into your swing trading methods. Now that this is covered, the trading style is going to be having the most love from new traders and people just getting into trading like to try it out is day trading. That, that's what people think of first when they, when they start trading. I did the same myself in the past. I wanted to day trade at first because it was appealing and I wanted to be able to succeed trading quickly and making my money quickly. So what is Thomas' view on that? Scalping, uh, it really is the one that generally people place their first trades on when they go live. Of course, we're talking about the one minute, five minute kind of time frames when you're talking about scalping. Um, some of the, I mean, the main advantage is that you are in and out incredibly quickly. You could be, you will know generally the result of your trade within five to 15 minutes or 30 minutes. It, it can be exciting, uh, can, but it can also be quite dangerous. So one of the main advantages is that you're in and out, you'll get a lot of trades. So if you're someone that wants to trade constantly, 
scalping is of course the better um, opportunity for you. Uh, but I do think that scalping has changed since I first got into the industry. When I was trading in 2008, while the markets were incredibly fierce and moving quickly, scalping was very different to how it is now. Um, so I think the main advantage for a scalper is if you have a disciplined system, you are very intense um, and you are absolutely focused in, uh, then it's, it's a great way of trading, uh, but you really cannot have any distractions. So I mean, when, we, when I was scalping and doing those 16, 20 hour day stints, I would literally only focus on the charts and focus on you know, my craft. I would never uh, get distracted. I wouldn't even have necessarily Bloomberg or any of those other things distracting me. I'd focus on what I saw and I'd focus on the price action. So given that we've not covered time frame, the thing you need to think about now are, are different trading style. What do you want to trade reversals or trends? And as you see, Thomas and I have a very different view on that. Yeah, so with trend trading, it's something that, well, I think everyone should, should have a great trend trading system. And I'm not a proponent that you just have one trading system. You probably have a few to trade the different market conditions that in. It's not, um, yeah, I found out very early on that there's different market conditions and you need to be able to uh, recognize them and then respect them and trade uh, slightly different systems depending. Look, trading the trend, there's always that saying that everyone says, which is the trend is your friend. And it couldn't be truer um, because when you think about when a trend is on in the market, it generally means that the fundamentals and the money flow is going in a certain direction. And you don't wanna be trading against that, uh, those fundamentals or that money flow. So if you're becoming a swing trader and you're taking the swings in that trend, uh, then it can be excellent. Uh, but you know, when it comes to trading the trend, I think in terms of Forex, probably about six to seven months of the year, you're seeing a fairly heavily trending market. And the rest of the time, it's more of a range bound market. So if, if you can trade that trend, take advantage of those money flows, your risk to reward ratios are generally a lot larger. You might be able to put down um, $100 risk per trade and potentially get a two, three, four, or even five to one kind of reward. And that's just because the trend will push very, very quickly. It can also give you great fast results. Uh, in terms of mean reversion trading, um, that of course, uh, look, you know, in terms of moving averages and stuff, a lot of people talk about the market being in a trend where it will come back to maybe a 20 moving average or a 50 moving average. Once you've seen it occur once and it comes back to one particular moving average and then bounces off that, you can often see it do that multiple times throughout a trend. So if you've got a strong trend and you start to see a reoccurring pattern, you can really take advantage of that in the market as well. So I love trend trading. I think it's one of the best things um, throughout all uh, instruments that you might be looking at. While Thomas is a lot more oriented toward trends, I prefer a lot more to trade reversals. It's just a personality thing. I feel like reversals for me are easy to spot. I feel better trading them. And I don't feel like I enter like too high in the market. I feel like I enter the right point to go downwards. It's like catching a top, but in the right sense. So trends are fine if you want to trade trends. I think they are a good way to make money in the market. And you have the advantage of being able to ride a long period of time. I prefer these like quicker profits and these kind of smaller moves. Even though I'm not making like 5R on a trade, I'm winning more often than people trading trends because they tend to get stopped out more often, I believe, and I tend to kind of cash it up and then price falls. And usually I feel that reversals are gonna happen faster. So price hits a level, then it reverts. It might like stay there a while, but it, it might usually not. And that's something that I just prefer myself. Now you gotta see for yourself what you prefer. So you can try like different, trade two different strategies, one for trends, one for reversals. See what you prefer, try it out in different markets. And then at the end you pick one. Okay, you cannot just like stay there and trade everything. You gotta be able to pick one first to get some momentum in that. And then later on move to something else and add things to your arsenal. You don't, you don't go with like everything at once, but you go progressively. Trading one thing, become the master at it, then you trade something else after, but you add to what you've done before. That's really important. So whatever you decide to pick, that's fine as long as you stick to it and that you understand what is the best for your personality and your, your preference overall. Lastly, I'm sure you've seen how hard it is to kind of put everything together. You see these, these blog talk about different topics, reversals, price action, this tool, that tool, Fibonacci, Bonjour Ben, moving averages. 
but it's kind of hard to put everything together, right? Like make a plan, put it in a box and trade it. That's quite hard. And I asked Thomas, how can you make sense of all this? Yeah, so I think when it comes to making the decision of what type of trader you want to be, I think the biggest, most important thing that I can tell anyone, and I definitely struggled with this at the beginning, is you've got to be true to yourself and you've got to actually go through your trades and really look at them and analyze them and make sure that um, you pay attention to what you've made mistakes on and improve on that. I think the biggest problem that most people have is they're not often very honest uh, with trading. It's really hard to admit that you are potentially not doing well or maybe that style isn't for you. Um, it just comes down to, I think if you don't have much success or you are you know, worried about it, you start to open maybe a new account. I see that all the time. People have a $10,000 account, uh, they won't do so well, they'll open a new account, start fresh uh, and still use the same system. So if you're deciding what type of trader you want to be, it's really about thinking about how much time do you have to put into this trade and doing the hard yards. You know, the market is often your best teacher. It's one that's pretty brutal. It's not going to hold back. Uh, it is going to teach you multiple mistakes and you will continuously make certain mistakes where you've got to constantly go back over it. So my suggestion to anyone would be absolutely keep a trading journal look over that trading journal over each month if possible. One of the things I love to do was sit down with a few trading friends and we would critique each other's trades. Uh, it can be difficult, trading's a little bit solitary, but if you can get into a group of people where they're willing to do that, you can look over those trades at the end of the month, see which ones have worked for you, maybe trade different types of uh, styles, so maybe trade swing trading, day trading and scalping, and just see which one's giving you the best results and then make that decision. But I think it comes down, Eddie, into a lot about time and lifestyle. If you want to put less time in front of the charts, swing trading. If you want to put huge amount of time in front of the charts, scalping. So in conclusion, we've covered all the basic principles in the market, so the time frames, what time frame to look at, what different style you can, you can use, what method to trade, reversals, trend, what are the best, what are the advantages of one or the other. I want to remind you that there's no best ever. There's only a best thing for you. You got to figure this out for yourself. And I cannot tell you what to trade because that would be nonsense. You would not be making any money with that. If you only follow what I do, that won't work. So you got to be able to kind of understand what you prefer. Go with that, implement it. And if it doesn't work, then go back and change things up and adjust over time. Okay, that's really huge. So I hope that makes sense. Combo with your thought, what you trade, day trading, swing trading, scalping, do you trade trends, reversal, breakout? I wanna know the comment for sure. I'm curious to hear that. And if you have any questions for Pepperstone, the guys there, or for FX Evo, for Thomas, make sure you comment below as well. Make sure that they have a look at this and that they reply in a prompt manner. And that's it, guys. Check out the links below, of course, for Pepperstone, for the playlist for this series. There's a lot of content here that you can watch and learn from, and there's no reason in this 2020 year for you to not be able to reach your goals. There's a lot of content here on the channel, you can follow this. Go through at your own pace, one video a day if you need to. But there's a lot and there's enough stuff for you to be able to reach your goals, get a lot of momentum, and I cannot wait to see you guys progress throughout the year. It makes me happy, I'm super happy with that. And uh, I want to hear your comments, your testimonials in the future. So let me know as always in the comment section. Here are a few comments from the past video. I appreciate you guys for leaving your comments as always. And I'll be catching you guys in the next video. Ciao.